What is going on, y'all? I'm very excited to be bringing you guys this video here today. As you guys can see, I'm still whipping the minivan. But pretty much, guys, today I'm going to be bringing back a budget fishing challenge video. Pretty much, I would take you guys with me into stores. I'd have a certain amount of money, certain budget, and I'd have to buy stuff to go fishing with. We did the series in a bunch of stores, man. A lot of retail stores. We even did, like, yard sales, flea markets. I honestly had a lot of fun making those videos. So today, we're going to kind of be bringing it back. I mean, I missed it, man. Let me get right to it. Pretty much, guys, today we are over here at a pet store. Pet code to be specific. And I'm going to be going in there with a budget of $25. Pretty much guys i'm going to be spending that 25 dollars in there and hopefully what i spend my money on will help us to catch some fish here today i kind of sort of have a plan but not really so we're just going to go in there i really don't know what petco has in stock and i don't really know what can help me catch some fish but we're going to go in there with our 25 dollars and hopefully that will help us to catch some fish today so let's get in there all right we have made it inside of the petco here there's already what are these things female robo rowski hamster it's actually really cute that is not how we're going to be helping me catch some fish today. That would definitely get me uh, a little bit demonetized. Uh, Excuse me. There's some nice looking turtles over here. $24.99 Petco with the hookup. You're looking for some red ear slider turtles. Ooh. All right, here's the reptile section, man. See, I'm getting distracted already. I know I have to go out and catch some fish. I don't have too much time here. It's just like when you go into a pet store, there's so much like distractions and stuff. Like look at the, the little dripper. What is, what is this thing feeding here? There it is, I see its tail back there. This is a, Jackson, oh my, under $40 for the Jackson Chameleon. That must be a hot commodity out here in the Petco land. All right, I need to start getting my stuff together here. Yo guys, not even gonna lie, this thing is like actually pretty sick. There's a lot of cool fish here. I'm gonna go show you guys. As I said before, it was a long time since I've been into a Petco. I usually go to like a local neighborhood pet store that's not like a chain. But like, look at some of these fish, man. These things are sick. I mean, as y'all can see, they just have lots and lots of fish selections. Oh, they even have starfish. I don't know what happened to his little uh, arm right there. Some underwater bamboo, 20% off guppies. They even got Nemo here, and they got his cousin, Dark Nemo. Yo, I always thought these ones were so sick. There's like a uh, black light, and they kind of glow sort of in the black light-ish. Couple different tanks like this. I always thought those were so sick. That'd be so cool like in a room when all the lights are off and everything. Either way y'all, I'm actually getting distracted again. I'm telling you, when you go into a pet store, it's so easy to get distracted, but pretty much guys, I'm not gonna be buying anything live. Yo, that's actually really cool right there. It's like a shrimp with big antennas. But yeah, pretty much guys, that's what I was saying. I'm not gonna be buying anything that's like living in here, especially the fish, because first of all, that's like illegal. And I mean, besides that, that's just not cool, man. Like you're gonna put something like this on a hook and try to catch a bass. Like that thing, look how beautiful that thing is. So yeah guys, these are fish just to like feed look at be your pets so don't be like coming into pet stores and like fishing with them and putting them on your hook you also got your pet store birds over here guys i don't know if i said this yet or not but there's like absolutely nobody in this pet store it's just me and the workers and everywhere i go they're just kind of like what is that guy doing with this big camera with this big mic and just like talking to himself but that's definitely one of the things i missed about like the whole budget fishing challenge videos it's just me going out in public with the camera talking to myself just like the whole getting out of your comfort zone thing trying to make a video out here when there's just people staring at you Okay, I was just talking to myself. There's like a room full of people right there. And um, I just walked by and they were like all staring at me. So that was kind of weird. I'm just looking to get some stuff to fish with. Uh-huh, the video recording? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Am I allowed to do that here? No, we don't allow that. I have a YouTube channel where I go fishing. So I like try to get baits at like here and then I go like fish with it. You know what I mean? We don't have bait here. Ooh. I know you don't have exact fish Mom. bait, but. <laughs> That's the, that's my thing. Like I went into Staples, I did it. I went into Dicks. I went. I like went to flea markets and stuff. Uh, I'd like to ask you not to do it here. Okay, you don't want me to film. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Basically, that is the first time I've gotten kicked out of a store while doing a budget fishing challenge. I'm trying to bring the budget fishing challenges back and then get kicked out of freaking Petco. Like, what the heck, man? I mean, the thing is, she was really nice about it, but it just got kind of weird when I tried to explain exactly what I was doing. Because, like, how do you, like, explain a budget fishing challenge to, like, a really, really old person who probably doesn't even know what YouTube is? I don't know. It was just kind of weird, but anyway, I got kicked out. Let me talk about what I got here because I couldn't really film any more in there again though i'm not complaining i do respect her i understand that they might have like a filming policy or whatever it's all good man it is all good i still got some stuff hopefully we can catch the fish on this stuff i kind of had to switch the game plan up a little bit because i just kind of wanted to get out because they were just like hawking me down man before that lady came up to me they were all staring at me and then after they were just like literally everybody was staring at me i was just like i, I gotta go man so yeah i mean there y'all go kicked out of the freaking pet store but let me show you guys what i got here first thing i got is actually these salmon strips you can kind of see through the bag right there i actually have a different game plan that what a lot of you guys 
guys might think I'm about to do. So uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of had to switch it up in there because I just wanted to get out. And here's the other thing that I picked up. It is Blue Bar's mini dog biscuits baked with cheddar and cheese. Pretty much they're just like dog treats. Healthy and holistic so you know we're prepared for the day man whole grains fruits and veggies in there yeah guys that was definitely interesting let's get over here to the pond let me show you guys what my makeshift plans are here for this video here today now before going to the pond i actually stopped at home and got this minnow trap that you guys see right here so pretty much we're going to be using this here today i came over to this pond again i had to switch my plans up a little bit but i'm pretty sure we can catch some minnows in this pond so plan number one we're going to put the stuff that we got from petco in here hopefully we can trap some minnows and i mean hopefully that works and if it does then i'm going to put the minnows on a bigger rig and try to catch some bigger fish out of this pond right here sounds like a good plan in theory this is definitely not what i expected for today but i mean let's, let's go try it out here all right guys i'm not going to waste your time i did not catch or see any minnows at this pond today and then after this day there were two other days i did of just minnow hunting trying to find minnows for this exact video like no joke i had to go to so many spots and just be super patient which was really tough because i just wanted to get this video out for you guys and just get it done you know so a few days later here we are i came to this spot here because i saw minnows here during like the warmer weather months as you guys can see from this video up here that i'll link above but pretty much as you guys can see i'm just putting the baits in to the minnow trap this is exactly what i did the other times before where i really didn't catch anything but this time i i don't know i thought i'd have better luck because i did see minnows here in the summer so i mean maybe they were here maybe they weren't i don't know i just had to go and find out so yet again the bait was in i put it into the water and i, I just had to wait yet again just more waiting okay yep i don't know if you guys can see there or not i just spooked some minnows there's some oh man it's right there can you guys see that that is a good sign this is I don't know, man. It's been a struggle trying to find these freaking minnows. So pretty much what I'm going to do with this guy is just like kind of what I've been doing. I'm just going to leave him in there for, I'd say, like a couple hours. Some of them I left in overnight, but there is like, as you guys see, there's a walking trail right here and there's the river over there. People walk along this trail. I don't want someone just to come by, you know, and just like see the trap and take it. I don't know. I'm going to give this guy a little bit of time, see if we catch anything. And if not, we're just going to have to change spots again, man. I mean, my main goal is to catch minnows and then catch fish on the minnows. But right now, I just really want to catch some minnows. I don't know why it's been such a struggle, but I feel it, man. We're going to get some. At the other spots, I didn't see any minnows at all. Here, I actually see some. So yeah, I mean, pretty much right now, I'm just going to go get some food, come back in a little bit, and then see if anything is in our trap. All right, y'all. It has been a little bit. I went and got some food, and we are currently bringing our minnow bucket to hopefully pick up our minnows. Anything in here. Are there any minnows? I feel something move. Oh, yo, let's freaking go can you guys see that i'm not sure if you guys can see that or not but there are right there oh my god there's freaking movement man we got all right let me count how many we got in here three I'm not sure if you guys can even see that or not dude i'm oh my god i'm literally so freaking happy right now all right let me get these guys in the bucket before they die now believe it or not these were the only three minnows i could catch out of that little thing of water right there believe me i definitely definitely tried to get some more but this is all i could pull out but i mean hey we had minnows man the first step was complete now not beating around the bush i lost all three minnows i did not get one single bite on them as you can see i was fishing this spot right here oh and this was also pretty fun too falling in the water you know that's always a good time y'all can call this cheating or whatever but i was sure as heck not wasting any more time searching for minnows so i hit up a buddy i asked him because i know he gets a lot of minnows i asked him if he could take me to the spot it was kind of like a retention pond thing but he asked me not to film it was kind of like private for him i mean it's super public but he doesn't want a spot burned and you know whatever so here are the minnows that i actually got from there like holy crap that's all on the dog food too so it just shows to show you guys that i was like going to the wrong spots honestly but now that I had an ample amount of minnows that I caught myself from the stuff from the pet store, it was now time to catch some fish. Now you guys have seen this spot before. I drove over an hour from my house down to here trying to get some white perch. There was also a spillway that I fished before this. All I caught was grass. Nothing really wanted the Carolina rigged minnow here. So even more moves were made. So pretty much I started off this whole thing by going to a dam. Then I drove another 50 minutes over here to this pond and I'm really hoping we can get on some fish today. As you can hear, there's some wild trucks. I mean, you guys have seen me fish this pond before. I'm just really hoping we can catch the fish on these minnows man i gotta complete this challenge let's see what we can do here all right now as i said before you guys definitely have seen me fish this spot before actually in this video right up here we actually really did manage to have a good amount of luck in that video however we were using shad darts we were not using live minnows so this is definitely going to be a little bit interesting all right so let's start this off here as y'all can see i just have a little uh hook right here going up to a bobber have a split shot in the middle just gonna go ahead just like that hook them through the back all right right around there ah Yo, oh. <laughs> they're all good. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's it's all good. It's all good, dude. I still got a minute one out there. Dude, this is the definition of the struggle. I don't know how to explain it. I've just been losing floats, lures, like anything you could think of. I've 
Just been losing it here. There's one. There's fish. All right. Yeah, that took a little while there. That's actually a really pretty one right there. Boom, that is a beautiful little uh, black crappie right there. Okay, now what in the heck was that? Guys, I don't know why, I just get this feeling that I was just like not supposed to make this video here. I really just hope that you guys can tell from the footage like how long this video actually took to make. It almost feels like the fishing gods were like sort of against me in this video. Like I'm not sure if it's because I broke the Petco no filming policy. Either way, man, I really did try my best, but this just goes to show you guys that like sometimes filming these videos can definitely be a struggle, like a multiple day struggle, not just like a one day thing. It's all good though, man. I got so many more ideas on the way and I'm just glad that this one is over so I can definitely move on and stop like wasting time on this whole thing I think a big factor in the difficulties of this whole video making is that the weather has been like really weird like some days extremely extremely cold other days like rainy and not as cold and the other days like completely snowing and then other days like pretty warm outside but still like kind of cloudy i don't know it's just been really weird yeah guys that's pretty much going to do it here for this video today sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you get unlucky like in this video i don't know if you guys could tell but i was pretty unlucky in this video i mean i fell in the water the one day i couldn't find minnows or fish and then i just got like all my gear honestly i lost it all in trees all on logs most of the gear i lost was honestly in laydowns and different kind of laydowns in the water where you couldn't even see logs but i would just get snagged up and it would just snap and I just lose everything. It was, it was, whew. so yeah, guys, I hope you got some entertainment out of this video. I'm definitely, as I said before, I'm definitely happy to be moving on. So much cool stuff coming, especially, especially trout season right around the corner here in Delaware. I'm so excited for that, man. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to do it here for this video today. If you would like to, I'm not saying you have to, but if you would like to, it would help ease my pain, help ease just like the whole thing about this. Press that thumbs up button. I really would appreciate it, man. And yeah. That's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today, guys. I'm gonna go see what I can do to make it back up to these fishing gods, and we're just gonna keep cranking out these videos, man. I'm gonna be on to the next one tomorrow. So yeah, I mean, as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next video. You wanna know just where?